Hello, so we are back, and this time we have a MacBook. Uh, this is a A1502 MacBook, okay? And the problem with this one, this is obvious, the power button is broken. So this is a MacBook without a power button. Anyway, if you, you can use something to push the power button and start the laptop. But that's not the issue, the laptop is dead, okay? So it's not coming on. And you see the charger doesn't have the light. Okay, so we have to fix this. Now, remember what I told you about the MacBooks? Yeah, this is pretty used, but we should be able to fix it. MacBooks are kind of easy to be fixed. Uh, not because they are uh, like simple compared with the others, no, because we do we have schematics and we have the board view, and because of that, they are kind of easy to be fixed. Okay, so when I see a MacBook, I know you know whatever is there, I can fix it. Let me grab a screwdriver. Okay, so the screws are out. And that's the, I can't see liquid damage here. I can't see liquid damage, which is good. A lot of dust. But I can't see liquid damage, and that's a good thing when it's about a MacBook. Yeah. Okay, so what do we check first? What do we check first is the 19. Yeah, let's see if the charger is good, if the charging port is good. Now, MacBooks are slightly different compared with a normal laptop. And check on the screen, we do have 19, okay? So 19 volts power L is present. That means the charger and the charging port is good. Now, remember we made that uh, repair course and I explain about normal laptops. So my books are the same, apart from the input circuit. Yeah, you, you remember the two MOSFETs and they are passing, they are like for protection there. The MacBooks, they have a switching power supply and that power supply is supplying power to the whole laptop. Okay? To the whole laptop apart from one specific power supply, the 3.3 volts power supply. I mean, it's kind of like in um, normal laptops, but what do we have to pay attention is on that 3.3 volts power supply, which has to be like 3.4 on MacBooks, and the main power rail, which is created by that big uh, power supply. Yeah? So let me take out the board and see you in a minute. Okay. So what do I ch want to check first, yeah? What do I want to check first is the 3.3, uh, 3.4 volt uh, uh, power rail, okay? And uh, we can see here, it's getting created here. Just pay attention, yeah? You have two diodes. They use two diodes so the current, it will not uh, flow to the, from the one circuit to the other. Just forward, yeah? Okay, so in order to find the... Uh, to find this, this double diode, which is important because the 3.4 is created from this power supply. Uh, we can check with the board view, so we have to check for D7005, okay? 7005, okay. So that's the double diode, which uh, we should have, yeah, on one pin, we should have the DC end, I mean the 19 volts. On the other pin, we should have the, the, the voltage from the battery or the voltage from the main uh, power rail. On any case, you don't need both in order to work. I mean, even if I have only the charger, so I have no battery plugged in, if, even if I have only the charger, I should have voltage on the output. Yeah, so I should have 19 here. Now let's check on the board. So that diode is exactly here. Okay, so that's the diode we are looking for. Now let me plug the charger. 
charger is plugged in let me take the voltmeter which is on screen okay and uh, on the input we have zero volts and we have zero volts so you see the 3.4 is missing because we have no input yeah so the voltage is missing from this uh, uh, from this diode especially you know I'm looking only for the 19 volts here yeah, the 19 volts should be present here okay let's check this uh, to see if we have voltage on this one yeah Q7010 Q7010 which is this one okay let's uh, let's check the voltage on uh, on this MOSFET so must be this one yeah that's the one and on this one we have nothing here nothing here and we have one more pin here yeah nothing here how this is possible I mean wait wait one second what we are doing here what we are doing here I mean clearly this fuse is gone so you have 19 and 0 on the other side lol okay what a waste of time I can't believe Now the question is why that fuse blow up? <laughs> That's a good question. So this is a fuse and it's gone. Okay, clearly the fuse is gone. And we're gonna use a proper calibrated wire to redo the fuse. But I'm still confused why that fuse is gone. I mean what is the reason? Must be a reason, you know, a fuse doesn't just blow up uh, in self yeah that's fine and now a proper calibrated fuse here Perfect. Come on, see there. Okay. Yeah, that's a perfect fuse. Now I'm curious. Do you think the laptop it will work? I mean, what's the reason that fuse blow up? And no, it's not working. The question is why? Let's check the voltage. Do we have a short somewhere? No, actually we have 19, you can see on the screen. Okay, now let's go back to our uh, testing. Yeah, let's check the voltage on that diode. We still have no light here. Yeah, no light whatsoever. Now let's check back to that diode to see what we have now there. So that's the diode. Here we have 18.9, you can see, okay. And here we have zero, okay. On the output we have 18.6, that's great. Now we can check the 3.4 volts, which has to be, uh, let's check the output, okay. Let's see where is this, uh, this coil, L7095. L7095 and is here on the other side of the board okay that's the one okay let's check 
the voltage on the output and we have 3.4 so the 3.4 3.4 volts uh, power rail is present okay now the next what we have to check the next it will be our main uh, power rail where is getting created yeah okay that's the next uh, circuit we have to check this is a power management uh, uh, IC and we have the input yeah then we have two more as you can see them here it's about the same circuit like on a normal laptops yeah now let's check to see what we have here on this chip yeah let's check the input to see if we have any voltage and what is going on here you remember like how i told you what is different compared with a normal laptop uh, the input circuit is the same yeah but if you check the voltage yeah from the output of this circuit is going to this switching power supply yeah and from this switching power supply is created a uh, voltage for the system yeah I believe it's like 12 volts if I uh, remember now let's see why this voltage is not created because we don't have uh, anything on the other diode from the 3.4 volts uh, power supply yeah? let's have a look U7 100 yeah and this ship is about here yeah and we can see the circuit one second here so here we have this uh, this chip here we have the double diode let's have a look what voltages do we have 19 and on the output we have 18 okay that's fine that's okay So this chip is alive, yeah. What? One second. So here we have eighteen point seven, right? Eighteen point seven, and it's going here, and here we have zero. I mean, on this resistor, eighteen point seven on one side, and zero on the other side. That doesn't seem to, doesn't seem to right, yeah. So what do I want to do? I want to disconnect the power. I want to come with the power supply with five volts less current, and I want to sh check if we have any short on that uh, power rail. Yeah, we can see it's a power rail here, and here is taking three hundred seventy milliamps, and the voltage get dropped. And something probably is getting sick hot. I don't know if this chip. One second. Oh, it is this chip. I can't believe. Uh -huh. Okay. So, some alcohol some current and check that mm. I mean indeed this chip it is a power supply but doesn't output any voltage so it's switching MOSFETs okay it doesn't really output uh, voltages here we have a 3.4 here no okay so i believe this chip is burned yeah i'll try to find another one to replace it hopefully i have another one okay let's replace this chip quickly a little bit of rosin flux
let us quickly replace it and uh, hopefully the laptop it will work right But still, that doesn't make sense where that fuse blow up, so uh, I'm curious. See what's happening after we replace uh, we are replacing this chip. Okay, so that's the old chip. Now uh, the chip position is important. Wait, we have a resist uh, capacitor here. Let's put the capacitor back. Yeah, there. Good. Okay, I have a board for spares here, so I will take this chip from another board. Yeah, here. Hopefully the chip is good. <laughs> Hopefully. I must be, right? Okay, so we took the chip out. Let's move the chip on the other board here. Good. So the chip has to be here. Let's solder the chip back. Perfect. Now it's time to test to see if it's working. That was only the problem. We can check with the power supply for short, like before. Yes, we can. Let's wait for the board to cool down. I think we can hold the board with a little bit of thermal pad, which is not here anymore. But yeah, definitely, we can help the board to cool down quicker, yeah? Yeah. The thermal pad, it will suck the heat out. I think it will be fine. Now let's come again with the power supply, yeah? On the same point, on the same point like before microscope so we are coming with the power supply exactly here yeah here and it's taking 20 milliamps you can see check on the screen 20 milliamps so i believe the problem is solved now let's see indeed if the, this board is working i will get a charger Let's plug the charger. And we have the light. I probably can't see it. Look, you can see the light on the charger. Now let's put quickly the board back and see if the and see if the laptop is working, yeah? 
Okay, so the laptop is working fine. Everything is done. Hopefully that is not a user. One second. Oh yeah, it is. Guest user. Okay, that's fine. Yeah? So it's working fine, it's charging fine, no issue whatsoever. Okay? So, uh... I'll take the board out, I will, uh, I will clean it. I'll open the board, I will clean it, I will put it back together, but that's not the point of this video. Yeah? The point of this video is MacBooks looks complicated. But actually, most of the faults, what I found, are around those things, yeah? So, what was the, our problem? Our problem was the input fuse was burned, and this chip was shorted, yeah? The power management chip which is uh, creating the, the main power rail of the system and also is handling the input uh, MOSFETs okay so this one was shorted and the other thing is the 3.4 volts power supply and I found those diodes burn so many times you know those diodes from the input so if we are checking out the diodes yeah let's check let's check together let me plug the, the battery and the charger here. Yeah? And you'll find this diode, double diode, and a lot of, of laptops. So on one side, you should have the voltage from the charger here. Uh, one second, what happened with my multimeter? Yeah, it was on. Uh, so on one side you have 18.3 i mean the input voltage and on the other side you should have your main power rail or the battery voltage yeah, same thing yeah 11.9 so basically just checking uh these uh, this diode on the output and many times you will find some short on the output on the output you have 18.1 okay just uh, just you know just a short video about fixing a macbook looks complicated but it's not that uh, not that much yeah so the faults are spinning around of around uh, those uh, those things and also the backlight the backlight on the macbooks is notorious we, we all know that so i'll stop now i will say thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like the video and uh, see you on the next one bye